Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Today is November the 22nd, 2020, and I'm very excited to make this video. I've wanted to do this for quite a while. As you can see from the title, we're going to look at the uh, trimmer lines that I've been use, uh, using this past season. I've literally used probably several thousand feet of different trimmer line, and I have found the best trimmer line on the planet. Yes. So a lot of people were, we're going to say upset with my review of the Vortex line. Uh, go back and search my channel. They said that my review was, you know, maybe unfair or because I didn't like the, the line and other people do. Look, let me explain something. First of all, it's my review, all right, which means it's my opinion. So I'm doing these because I can test out a lot of different lines and maybe steer you in the direction that you may or may not want to go. Take what I say with a grain of salt because I'm going to give you a couple of, uh, we'll call them maxims. Number one, the trimmers that I use when I test these lines are different than your trimmers unless you have the exact same trimmers. You can take a substandard line and have it in a more powerful trimmer and you may get better results. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I use the Echo SRM225 and the Echo 2320T string trimmers. And at the end of this video is going to be a bonus of the line that I use in the 2620T. So if you have different trimmers that are more powerful, have different head speeds, okay, you're going to get variations. But hopefully, okay, hopefully you'll get a little bit of uh, help maybe in choosing the next line that you want to want to do. So, uh, no, I do not like the Vortex line. I will say it again. I think it is probably the worst trimmer line I have ever used. If you disagree with that, that is perfectly fine. Okay. But I'm going to show you a lot of lines that blow that stuff out of the water. And if you want to try it, great. If not, we'll keep using whatever you're using, but I am going to move to the garage where I've got a box of all the trimmer line that I used and I'm going to just rank them, tell you why I like them, why I don't like them and what I'm actually using every day now. All right, so here's my, I tried to keep all the uh, spools and stuff from all the different lines that I used, but let me, let's just go over some different things. Number one, okay. I have used, let's see, I even have some stuff on the shelf that is, okay, I've used Ryobi, Craftsman, um, all kinds of no-name brands from the big box stores, and I got to tell you, they're all, they seem to all be pretty much the same. Uh, I don't like them as a general rule. For the longest time... I used the regular, uh, I don't have my spool here, actually it's on the, it's on the trailer. Anyway, I used the regular orange steel line, okay? So, pretty much up to that point, that was the best uh, line I had used compared to all the Craftsman and all the other junk. And keep in mind, all these trimmer lines that I'm using, uh, they are probably not made by the company. They just slap their name on it. I don't know. Rotary Corp probably makes a lot of trimmer line, um, but who knows? So what I did was I was trying to find a different trimmer line. And the first thing that I went and picked up after the steel line was... This Husqvarna Titanium Force line right here. All right, now this is .095, and pretty much all these are .095. And this line is far, far better than the steel orange line. So that went up in, um, you know, I was like, that's really, really good line. This is the stuff that's the gray line. It's, also, it's a round line, but it's got some little... Um, I'm not going to call them serration, but little divots in it. 
This line lasts a long time. It's very durable. And keep in mind, I'm cutting Southern Bermuda. If you're cutting some different types of grass and edging and things like that, um, you know, take this with a grain of salt, like I said before. But the Southern Bermuda we have is very, very hard to uh, get a nice clean cut on. So this line became my new favorite. Then I tried the Husqvarna Titanium X Pro. It's the orange line that's got that little core in it. This line right here, I tried it in 0 .95, 095 and 105. I hope these are getting, all right, can you guys see that? All right, so um, let me just fiddle with this camera real quick. All right, so outstanding line. This stuff is really, really good. In fact, in fact, that's what I carry in my pocket, okay? Every day, I carry this in my pocket. Now, is this line better than the Titanium Force? It's a little different. This stuff cuts really, really good, and it lasts, if you're, if you're not cutting anything that's against, against concrete or fences, if you're just cutting weeds, this stuff will last like forever. It's a very durable line. I like this line a lot. It's, um, it's not quite as stiff as the Titanium Force. Um, I think, to be honest, the Titanium Force is a little bit tougher when you're gonna do edging, when you're against curbs and sidewalks and driveways and stuff like that. But I would rank these lines almost the same. Um, but right now, that's exactly what I'm using in here. All right, so then, I went out and saw Johnny with blades of grass, and he likes this Oregon, this .80. Now this is a really small line, okay? Now as you can see, how much is left in here? Uh, I do not like this line whatsoever. This stuff, because I do a lot of edging against curbs, I got a lot of fences, um, a lot of rock areas, borders, stuff like that, this line is so uh, weak. It's, it cuts good, don't get me wrong, it cuts good, but it just doesn't survive against the, um, the hard surfaces. It just doesn't. So um, I was refilling the spool probably once a day with this stuff. And if I have a big property to do and I have to tap this thing every 10 feet or so, it's, it's, it's out. So I said, well, don't, don't let me give up on Oregon. Let me go and try the .095 line. Now this is far better than this. And only, and this is also a round line. And it's, this is really, really good line. I don't think this is quite as good as the Husqvarna. I think it's a little bit below. Um, but it's far better than this, only because this is more durable. Both of these give a really nice cut. I like a larger line, it just cuts better, uh, and it's more durable. So that's the Oregon line. So let's see, now here is the, here's the Vortex, and as you can see it's still, I just keep this as an emergency, and I, I don't really understand why this, I don't know, I, I just don't like this, this just doesn't, it doesn't cut good, it, um, it wraps up around the uh, the shaft easy, and people have said, "Well, you're not you're not feeding your 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 trimmer head correctly." Come on, guys, look. No other line here does that with the exact same. I measure all the line the exact same amount, and this line does it. If it doesn't do it for you, don't get mad at me. Okay? They go, "Well, maybe you got a bad batch." Well, maybe I don't know, but I'm not buying this again. Um, so anyway, then I was like, well, let me try something the exterminator says is the best line he's ever used, and that's this twisted steel, uh, this pro stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This line right here is really good if you're going to do, like, uh, banks, okay, and uh, the gutter, or what do you call them, the, um, like, ravines and stuff. 
This is a very expensive line. This line sucks for edging. I can't stand this line. It doesn't last very long. It's not very durable and it's very expensive. So if I'm going to just do a, uh, an area, like say I got a big job and it's just nothing but uh, weeds and stuff, then you know this, this is definitely an option. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of it left. I think this was my second spool of it, but yeah, this line, you know, I'm kind of, it's not horrible, but it's, it's, it's no good for trimming against curbs and stuff like that. And so now the question is, without delaying this video, the question is, what is the best line I have ever used? And if I'm going to say anything, I'm going to say what I just carried in my pocket is a Husqvarna Titanium X Pro. Okay, because this checks a lot of boxes. It's very durable. In fact, I can, if I'm not doing a lot of edging, a spool will last me almost an entire week. It's crazy. Very, very durable, but second, a close second place is going to be this Titanium Force. Now, I don't know who makes this. I don't think Husqvarna makes this. I don't know. But uh, as of right now, uh, these are first and second place with this being uh, first place. And that's what I actually carry. Okay. Now, that was, uh, that was pretty quick. And I, I apologize. I had other lines that uh, I tried that um, were just, they were just ridiculous. But... Um, I'm not a big fan of these Oregon lines. They're just not very durable. Um, either of these. Now, I'm going to tell you the absolute best line, period. And this is going to be a little not fair, but I'm going to do it anyway. If I could have one line on my truck and I had the trimmer to do it, I'm going to tell you what it would be. Are you ready? this stuff right here. It's a .130 low noise and it's spelled L-O-N-O-I-Z. This is the absolute best line I have ever used on a string trimmer. And it's funny because it's very similar to the Vortex but it has, obviously it's a different size, but it, it's a super tight twist. It's almost like a round line. This stuff right here is the other line that I keep in my pocket. Now I have this line, you're only going to be able to run this on like a speed feed 450 head and I actually had to modify the 450 head for this to fit in there. I had to take a drill and drill about uh, a couple thousandths off the hole to get this to fit but this stuff will stay in my trimmer head for several weeks and I use this exclusively against all my edging. Okay, I use the uh, the uh, Echo 2620T with the Edget Pro and it has this line in it. And this stuff lasts forever. It is just the most amazing line I've ever used. Now you would think a, a large line doesn't cut well. This stuff cuts like a, it's like a laser. Okay, I wish they made this in a smaller line, but they don't. And I can't run this line and a speed feed 450 head on my, my 2320T. It just won't spin it fast enough. It's heavy. This is heavy. This is very thick line. Um, but this is the absolute best line I have ever used. And maybe there's a line out there. I've tried a bunch of 130 lines. Uh, but maybe there's a better line out there. But I haven't found it yet. So if you can run a speed feed 450 head and you want the most durable combined with the best cut I mean this thing this stuff cuts better than this as far as how clean it cuts you would think a smaller line would cut cleaner uh, maybe on certain grasses it would but this stuff is indestructible and if you wanna if you wanna this will cut down stuff that this line won't even touch it's amazing uh, but again, that has to do some of it with the uh, more powerful 
trimmer and also a larger line. Now, I would like to get a, an Echo uh, 3020T, which is even more powerful than the 2620, and have this line on it. Uh, but, yeah, this line is, is the king of lines. And I just found some titanium force right here. So, that is what this is. And as you can see, it's, um, it's a little... The... Um, the Titanium X Pro appears a little bigger, but these are both .95. But the Pro has the uh, the core in it. I love this line right here, this gray line. So you can get this. I get this at Lowe's, both of these, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, so that is the trimmer line review. And I hope, well, I hope you guys take it with a grain of salt. As I said before, I have... Um, you know, over this past season, tested several thousand feet of line and absolute best. Now, I can't. Re oh, this right here. Did this come in my. Okay, so I think this is Echo's line. It came in the new trimmer. I don't like this stuff either. The stuff that comes in the, the Echo uh, trimmers from the factory. But yeah, it's, um, I'm just going to keep these for reference. See, I even have tried the 105 line in the X-Pro. Uh, it, it does no better than the, than the 095. Okay, so I think it's a little more expensive. So the best thing is just to stick with the 095 line. But yes, uh, as you can see, I put a little twist tie on it and have one of these in my pocket along with the, the low noise. But yes, sir. So hopefully this uh, this review helped you guys. Hopefully it was uh, fair. Uh, if anybody's in Atlanta and wants to try this stuff, you know, if you want to try 15 feet of it or whatever, meet me somewhere and I'll give you some and you can try it out. Um, you can't have my low noise. Uh, also, if you want to try this Gator line, um, this, to me, is the line that you would see in a little electric homeowner corded uh, trimmer. But anyway, guys, well, thank you for watching. I hope that that helps you uh, maybe think about some lines that you may want to try or not try. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is just what I have uh, been doing for the past several months, and I am... Very, very pleased, again, with that low noise, and so I'll continue to use it. I am going to continue to look at different lines as I come across them. I'd like to try some of the Shakespeare and some other stuff that Lowe's has, but they look kind of goofy. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment if you like these lines, if you don't like them, if you've had other experience. If you don't agree with me, that is perfectly fine. Tell us what kind of line you use and what you think is the best line on the planet. And as always, I will see you on the next video.